Today we're going to talk about the lateral retromalleolar groove and this groove is found on the lateral aspect of the foot behind the malleolus and the malleolus which is found on the lateral side is actually the end of the fibula. So we have the bone which is called the fibula and here we have the tibia. So this is the lateral uh, view of the right foot and uh, we have here we have the talus and so here we'll have the calcaneus bone so talus calcaneus and here we have the navicular the cuboid and as this is the lateral view so here we have the lateral cuneiform the intermediate cuneiform and then we will have the metatarsals from lateral to medial so this is the fifth fourth third second and so on so on this view here we can see a number of different retinaculums and the first one is the one which is found here and it connects between the fibula and the tibia and it's called the superior extensor retinaculum because through this retinaculum or this retinaculum covers the tendons of extensor muscles and it's found superiorly because there's another one which is found around here like this in this region this part and it's called the inferior extensor retinaculum and it has two sides one of them will go like this and turn to the plantar aspect of the foot and attach there and the other one will go and attach on the tibia the lower part of this retinaculum is called the inferior peroneal retinaculum or the inferior fibular retinaculum because there's another one that attaches on the lateral aspect of the fibula and the lateral aspect of the calcaneus bone which is called the superior peroneal retinaculum. This retinaculum is the one that covers the lateral retromalleolar group. So the elements that pass through the groove are the following. We have the uh, peroneus longus and peroneus brevis tendons. So we have two muscles, peroneus longus and peroneus brevis and both tendons of both muscles will pass through the groove. Also, we have the peroneal artery and the peroneal vein. So this groove has a clinical importance because there's a case which is called peroneal tendon subluxation. Peroneal tendon subluxation. And this case is related to the peroneal tendons so what happens is that um, the retinaculum the superior peroneal retinaculum will tear up for some weakness or other reasons and one tendon or two of the peroneal longus and brevis will uh, move from the groove and they will dislocate causing bruises and so on and this of course will cause a general ankle pain so that was the lateral retromalleolar groove i hope it was easy for you and until the next time i thank you for watching and see you